Welcome to the Marine Channel. I'm David. I'm just about to get aboard the Targa 46. This boat was the one that really coined the phrase 4x4 of the sea. Um, it's a tremendous boat. I can't wait to get inside and show you because it is a cave of amazing uh, quality and also space with a few surprises as well. So I'm going to start by doing the outside. Now this is the cockpit which is quite vast and if we just look down here those engine hatches are just huge meaning amazing access and if you ever did have to pop them out then it makes it really easy under there are a pair of volvo d6 440 horsepower diesels hooked to stern drives which will give the boat a maximum speed of 38 knots We've just lifted the engine hatches just so you can see the, the accessibility and the quality of the installation. So looking back here, we've got the two D6s. Then outboard of each engine, we've got fuel tanks. Now there are three, tank, three tanks in total, two at the back, and then there's another one up forward giving a total capacity of 1500 litres. And again, just look at that. The electrical installation there. That is about as neat as you'll ever get it. So you've got a Fisher Panda Jenny there. And still huge amounts of space to store any kit you might have. I just want to look at this joinery because it is incredible. Beautiful wood, really thick, really heavy couple of seats at the back here and also bench seat there and slots down there to have a table. Now this is a performance sea boat, incredible sea keeping and just walking around the side just look at the the side decks here really wide and these uh, rails come up to my waist and I'm six foot two so really really safe and as you go down they feel even higher. Here we have a pop-up in the rail, which allows easy side access. If you're moored side on, just pop that down. And also while we're here, we've got a, a side opening door right by the helm. So if you're single-handed, you can easily pop out and start doing the lines yourself. Right up on the bow, we've got a great sun pad with a hatch going down to the fore cabin and up here all the anchor gear. Anchor gear can be controlled from here or helms obviously and being Scandinavian you've got that uh, access off the bow as you pull up to uh, a, a bay or a, um, a rocks. So going down the other side again the same huge wide side decks which make you feel so safe. There's no hanging onto a rail and, and hoping you're going to stay on board here. I'm just going to go up to the flybridge now. Now Targas are really solid boats. They are, um, I suppose, slightly less glamorous, but they are just amazing sea keeping and amazing quality and just they feel really, really strong. So here we've got the helm which has all the functions you need, all the controls close at hand. And just look at that view. Superb view, looking forward for easy maneuvering. Now here you've got twin navigator seat, which spins round. So either facing forward for when you're on passage, or it turns round to become part of the social seating area on the flybridge. You've got a, an L-shaped bench there, and again, we've got a table that slots in there. So very functional, not, as I say, not glamorous, but just really functional and still, um, still a really nice place to be and socialize. Right, that's the exterior. And what I want to show you is the contrast between what is, uh, and, and I say this in a positive way, a real workboat and commercial feel, to this, which is absolute quality and luxury. 
really hardly any fiberglass to be seen anywhere just top quality joinery just look at that and quality wood everywhere now as we come in down here we have probably what would be the owner's cabin I guess and I'm going to come back to that so let's just go up here first and if we go down the starboard side we have the galley so here is a good sized sink and then under here we've got a two burner hob and if we look down here we've got a lovely fridge in stainless steel oven AEG and down here a dishwasher then the dining area itself slightly raised so really really good view out with these large windows but a really comfortable and solid place to be and again the joinery just continues and then if we go forward we come to the helm station and just really purposeful beautifully laid out controls for those Volvo 440s there bow and stern thruster on this one this boat is 850,000 including VAT on the water up here we've got all the engine instruments and the hand control for the spotlight and as we saw before the side door making easy access if you're helming on your own and there's a door on both sides there now Targa only make about 40 boats a year and they are happy to look at customization they're very happy to customize as far as is possible obviously and just look at the flooring there now I'm going to go down into the fore cabin so here we have a really quite wide double again with all this amazing joinery and plenty of storage built in there and a couple of ports and a top hatch there and then if I go in here we have a really nice size ensuite with sink loo and there's a grate down there for the shower and a, a screen that pops across there but really solid now the interesting fact about this boat is it's the first three cabin 46 to come into the country and down here if you can see I'm just lifting this a navigator seat here and down here is a single it goes under there has a seat there and storage it's certainly cozy but it's, I think that's a positive it feels really nice down here and you can just see a couple of ports up there let some light and ventilation in so that's the third cabin and now let's go and have a look at that master cabin which is aft here so we go down these steps into this really nicely appointed cabin so we've got a couple of ports there plenty of storage again more storage on this side and again it's not a huge cabin 
But I think when everybody talks about targas, they always talk about the sea keeping and the build quality, but they never talk about the accommodation. And it's not huge, but it is really cozy and plenty of it. So this is the ensuite now. And again, we've got sink, really nice vanity unit there and quite a good size shower around here actually. Mixer there and again you've got a port up there for natural light and ventilation. Now in addition to the, the berth in here, the double, you've also got another single which tucks under here. It's quite extraordinary what they have squeezed in here. Now this, this is really cosy but it's another berth. So three cabins, but this one's almost like one and a half. So I'm just gonna come up here and have one more look around here. The helm seat is actually a suspension seat. So if you sit on that, you literally bounce up and down, take all the shock out of the waves because this is the four by four of the sea. So that's the tour. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm staggered by the interior. I really wasn't expecting it to be um, as, uh, as superb as this. Um, it's a very different boat on the inside to the outside and such a strong uh, and, and well-built boat. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Please do subscribe and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks very much.